trusty and rusty Ferguson plough that was probably built in the 50s. Um, I picked it up probably 15 years ago and I've done hardly any work with it. So this year it's seen a lot of work um, and it seems to be functioning very well. It does its the, the design job exceedingly well. Um, it won't be brilliant today because this is effectively virgin grassland we're ploughing and that's uh, notoriously difficult to get a good clean cover of the, the, the growing surface. Uh, we're going to start off today by doing a little bit of maintenance. There's a few grease points, a few turning uh, articles on here so they have to be kept uh, greased up and then the discs, these here, they cut through the, the, the grass roots. They need sharpening. You can see they're quite blunt on the end, but that only takes seconds. Good. Now this plough has just had new shares put on. Um, these are a selection of shares. So this is one that uh, suffered terminal damage. This is one that's worn and this is a brand spanking new one. This one uh, unfortunately um, when ploughing the other day, I hit uh, a stone, submerged stone, that was uh, from a boundary wall. Uh, I guess it's one of the hazards around here that, where we've had old croft walls and they're just tumbled down, they just get grown over. So around the boundaries you can't see. Um, so it's an occupational hazard, but these are a wearing part and fairly easy to get hold of. I've uh, treated the plough to two brand new shares which would be the first time probably for 40 years it's had brand new shares so we'll see how it likes it and uh, with that I think we're ready to go the first thing we're going to do is plough a very shallow furrow just about six meters in from the boundary and that gives us a turning space at the, the ends the headlands of the field to, to turn the tractor on field here we've marked out a furrow, a single furrow, quite shallow. Um, this is going to be the border of the, the area that we're going to plough. We're going to plough initially inside that and then when the ploughing um, reaches this, this headland furrow they call it, then I'll go round and round and round and that way all the ground gets covered, all the, the ground gets ploughed. We don't uh, run over plough ground too much with the tractor. It's inevitable, but it's not a lot. Um, the tractor, where it is now, is set up for the, the first furrow, uh, the, the split, they call it. Um, and I'd, if you look way down the field, you'll see some marker posts that I've marked out, I've laid out, and they're directly down the line, hopefully equidistant between these two long furrows and um, that's where we're going to start the split. The split um, is, is quite a shallow plough, um, it doesn't go more than that and the idea is that you cut all the grass roots and you invert the grass so that it can't grow up again. The next furrow back up again will throw a furrow back on top of the, the first furrow, very shallow hopefully, uh, and then thereafter we go up and down and we gradually increase the depth until we get to normal ploughing depth and then everything goes a bit quicker. We started in the middle 
uh, with our, our split. Unfortunately, um, unbeknownst to me, that's the wettest part of the field. So we had a bit of trouble on that split, but uh, we've gone through that. And we've now got some pretty good ploughing going on here. Uh, probably got another three or four turns around the field before this is complete. And then hopefully we'll get some nice dry, windy weather coming in, which will dry out the, the top 